There's a recording that says that it was you and his idea to rob the bank. This can't be real. All right, folks. So in the sisters trailer for this week, which they dragged their feet with dropping for some reason, it's, it's Monday. Good Lord. All right. Well, in any case, what we got going down here, Danny and Andy are both in the uh, prison, you know, visiting room or whatever you want to call it. And they talk with Sabrina. Andy explains why she got arrested because of the tape Maurice, you know, or excuse me, the tape of Maurice saying the two of them planned the robbery together. And I feel bad for Sabrina. I do. I do. I do. Um, like I said before, I still say it was stupid that for the two times that Q was at the bank after the robbery to talk with Maurice, she as the bank manager did nothing. She didn't call the cops. She didn't call, you know, um, I don't know, some of the higher ups at the bank to make sure that, hey, this guy is not welcome here. And if he comes back, it's trespassing and he can be arrested on site or whatever they need to do. But she did nothing. But I think this adds more fuel to the fire of that one video I did where I talked about, wow, Maurice and Sabrina, like, you know, will it get to a point where they'll turn their backs on each other or... Didn't I do that video uh, based on the mid-season finale synopsis, episode 11, where um, I'm like, will Maurice railroad Sabrina if it means getting out of prison? Um, because it's going to be a point where these cops or whoever else or authorities, they'll try to turn them against each other. Like, they'll interrogate them, and then from there, um, I, let me put it this way. I think Sabrina has more leeway to railroad Maurice than he does to her because all he has to say, oh, excuse me, all she has to say is, look, I don't know what Maurice said on that tape and why, but I had nothing to do with it. Why don't you check the cameras of the bank? You could tell that I was a victim in this. Uh, that Q guy, he was the one that had Maurice at gunpoint and had a gun pointed at me. Not to mention, I was the one who um, hit the alarm in the bank to inform the cops of what was going down. Now, if I was the one that staged the robbery, why would I be there to sabotage it? More, Sabrina has the, the best alibi. She, not to mention, it's like, well, keep in mind, Maurice was the one fraternizing with Q, you know, allowing him to stay at his apartment. Hell, he's probably still there right now. Sabrina wouldn't do it, but I think that if she explains herself to um, um, Andy and Danny, they might convince her like, well, look, Sabrina, I don't know what you can do for Maurice because it looks pretty bad for him given the fact that he's the one that had Q staying at the apartment and everything. But here's how you can get yourself out. That, I mean... I, I think Sabrina, well, we do that uh, that one white dude, the one I told you about, I forget his name, but he's a character who has a grudge against Andy because Andy represented or uh, handled his divorce with his ex-wife. And I'm guessing Andy was representing, you know, the ex-wife. And as a result, he lost a lot of money and assets. So he has a grudge against Andy and he's going to prove to be a big obstacle to, you know, getting Sabrina out of jail. But in terms of the alibi and whatnot, I think Sabrina has far more, um, you know, um, I guess you could say things stacked in her corner in order to get herself out of jail than Maurice does. So there you go. All right, well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you think this is going to go down? And I will catch you in the next video.